Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Wind Waker. I am Fiery Red Hero 8. And do you remember way back when we started in exploring the Great Sea? How in the very first row I said, Oh, we'll come back to this island later because we don't have the hook shot yet. Well, that's what we're doing today. We're going to go all the way back up here to Overlook Island. Because now we are well equipped to explore it. And things are, I feel, are starting to really come into place now. Because we have gotten a lot accomplished. I mean, I know I keep saying there's a lot to be done, and there is still quite a bit to be done, but it's just, I'm getting that feeling now. It's like, you know, everything's coming together. We have, you know, we've acquired quite a bit, so. And these guys, there's two of those little buttheads out here. They're going to try to shoot you down, and their aim is quite well, I will have to say. They haven't knocked me down, but they've come close a couple times. Let's get the hook shot out. And hopefully they won't hit us, because they can hit you from a distance, obviously. There we go. Can I get it? Yes. Because with the sea bobbing up and down, that is a challenge. Come on. There we go. But yeah, you can obviously... Oh, crap, not you. I thought I hit you! I guess I just got the hook shot out. What?! Okay, really? I don't really don't have time for you. Hey, I'll take it. You want to help me out by doing that? That's fine. I will not object to that. Just please don't knock me off. Ah! Oh, I seriously do not like that. That's why I don't like manual aiming. I know I'm a lazy, stupid person, but... I'm not... I would hope I'm not stupid, but I mean, I'm... I'm lazy with that. I mean, not just that, but it's just... Ugh, one twitch of the damn analog stick, and you're way past where you want to go. We have yet another battle dungeon. We're getting a lot of those lately. But trust me. Um, this is this is more difficult than the ones we've seen, but... This will pale in comparison. I should stop talking about things that are going to happen later and just focus on the present. Stop hitting me! Okay, seriously, that's... That is not called for. Y'all can just... You guys are not supposed to hit me that often. You guys are like the easiest, one of the easiest enemies in the game. Take a joy pendant, even though we don't need it. Oh my goodness. But yes, yeah, same old song and dance with those, just, you know... Complete the rooms, they'll light up accordingly, and then you get to face something at the end. But of course, the treasure is well worth it. Oh god, not these guys. Get out of the way! If you don't want to waste your bombs or you don't have any at this time, you can just use. You know, I'm gonna totally get rid of that. Shit. Here, have a bomb. It's nutritious. Explosively nutritious. Okay. So. I cannot believe that it is already July. I just... Part of me is like, No! It's July! I only have 60 days left of summer. And you guys are probably thinking, Well, you just graduated college. It shouldn't matter to you. But it does. Because it's like, you know, I do like fall. Don't get me wrong. And my birthday is in September. But I just, it's like saying, okay, your first month of summer is gone. And I had summer vacation even before that. I'm going to try some with these guys. Oh, it does work. But not for long enough. Move! Okay, I sound like a cow. No! Oh my god. The boomerang is faster than that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I don't have to, but... And I know that guy's going to come back to life anyway, so I'm just going to... I'll take that one and go. Boomerang's faster because you don't have to get it out. And it doesn't take as long. God, you're a pain in the ass. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying... It's just, you know, 
I, and I have longer than that because, you know, I, May 18th was the day I graduated, so I had more like a month and a half, and it's already gone? That's just scary to me. I'm like, holy shit, really? But like I said, I'm going to enjoy this summer. I mean, I had my job interview, and I have my stresses about that, but I really just want to, I just want to, I just want to have fun. I want to do me this summer. All right, last room. What's in here? Ah, oh, great. And these guys won't get stunned like the other ones will. And they can summon enemies. Which means they suck. Well, I got one of them. That's, kind of, that's good. Because they can keep summoning a lot of enemies and being a pain in the ass. Crap. What I have found, though, is if you stand still... Even with these guys, even with them on you, it doesn't really matter. You can still get the whiz robe. I know you're here. Ah! Thankfully, that took a lot less time than I thought it would, but the door won't open if these guys are still here. So, and of course, they're going to be little bitches and. Try to run from you, and then get back on you, and then jump off again. See, I don't understand that. Like, they're supposed to die when you do the spin attack, but then sometimes they won't. They'll just run off like, oh no, don't kill me. But let me jump back on you, like a little effing bug. Oh my god. Thank you very much. I was trying to get him on an outside range. Oh well, we got him. So now that we've gotten all those rooms, com we've completed all those rooms, we have a little surprise. We have playmates waiting for us. That are well protected. Oh, what the hell? Why would I push B? If you can get these guys in a group though, they can um, hit themselves hit their friends, but actually I want to try to get these pillars knocked down because they've got some a lot of rupees in here. Come on! Come play with me! Oh, go sit... And that one didn't really have anything. Come on, let's play! Knock these down for me! Ow! I should have known better. Hey, I heard one knocked down. Oh, that was just green rupees. Rip off! Rip off! There's one with a lot of rupees in here. Knowing my luck, you probably hit him with bombs, but I don't know, and I don't want to take that chance. Because rupees mean everything in this game. F saving the world. That's the one I wanted. I think there's one with 20 rupees, too, but you know what? Come on! Come on! I want the rupees! And that was the wrong one. I've got a blue potion and granny suit, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Come on! Oh, you hit it, so I don't care. I'll sacrifice myself for the rupees. Whoa! There it is! I should go for that guy in the middle. But like I said, you get them in a group, they'll often hit their friends. And that'll help you later on, even though you might take damage in the process. Hey, I had no time to react. That was bullshit. I call bullshit. Oh shit. Did not mean to do that. <sighs> That's another thing with them being in a group. You can focus on one and another one will get you. Excuse me! Hey! Okay. I don't, I don't care. You your armor's off. You can die. Shit. I don't know why I did that. Shit. No! Come on. Ah! I'm hearing the parry attack. And then I'm too late. I think these guys are more powerful than the regular Dark Nuts, too. Like, 
The white ones look a bit shinier, though, so I don't know if that's a different class of them as well. But I think the black ones are the most powerful, but I'm not sure. Okay, all of that, we lost We lost quite a few hearts, but... Which time are we at? We're already at 10 minutes? Okay, well, I thought we'd be take more time than that. So we might be able to get a lot more done than I thought. But I don't, again, I don't want to do like half hour because I've been doing a lot of that. And, again, you go all the way up there. Oh, well, this case, this time, I don't need you. Let's not exit. We didn't come down here just to fight Dark Nuts. We came for what's in this chest. Which, of course, is nothing new if you've been following along. All right. But yeah. I'm hoping that you guys are all doing well. I'm not too bad right now. I'm actually running a bit late today with this post. Because um, last night when I came home, I was exhausted. Like, I had just enough energy in me to eat dinner and to sing happy birthday to my mom. And... Because yesterday was her birthday, and what I did was, she's 52, and I um, I changed the number candle so it said 25 on it, <laughs> but I made her a cake last, um, on Saturday, and my sister, my best friend slash sister, came over and helped me, you know, I baked it, she decorated it, and long after my parents went to bed, we were like just on the back porch talking, and of course I had to get up early to go to a meeting. But, well, actually, we're probably just gonna... Now that we're done here, we're gonna actually warp down to Outset. Because now we're gonna go down to that row. But anyway, we were talking until about 1 o'clock in the morning, and then I had to get up for a meeting. So, when I came home, I was really tired yesterday. So... That's why, I mean, I had no energy in me to record last night. I was like, there's just no way. So I'm doing this today. Then I'm going to clean. Then I have to go and get some shirts for work. Then I have to go to the gym, because I've been totally slacking on that lately. And northeast, that could work. So we actually want to go to this aisle over here in the background. And if you've noticed... Um, we actually have conquered quite a bit in, well actually I will say we did Diamond Step Island in the last episode with the ghost ship and um, we did Southern Fairy Island we've done that we've done Ice Ring Isle there's one thing left on Forest Haven and one thing left on Cliff Plateau Isles now this is excluding the treasure charts which I don't have all of yet but we're getting close there's 41 treasure charts now it says I have 37 on there, but I think they're counting all of the treasure charts. Like, not just treasure charts, but like, beetle chart, aisle, um, big octo charts, and all of those. Which, I only think I've fought a few, but that's all I can remember this time. But you see, that's what I mean, like, everything's coming together, We've, we're going, to, actually, a lot of islands we have done in previous things in order to advance the plot and acquire new items, so... As far as exploration, there should only be a few more episodes of that. And then we're going to probably be doing the infamous Triforce chart thing. I'm not sure yet, though. I'm thinking I might do the treasure charts first. If I can get all of them. If I can get all of them before doing the... Okay, damn. You didn't knock me off. That's cool. Oh, well. We'll see. Again, I need to stop focusing on the future and just work on the present. Jeez. Let's see. Alright, this one. Get your bombs out. You're gonna need them. Because it's doubly bombable in here. Can I get them from here? With the waves, this makes it a bit challenging. Okay, there's one. There we go. That's awesome. I'm trying to get them before they don't see me. Which, I've gotten a little better with the bombs. Come on. 
Because if you wait, sometimes if the waves will lift you up just a little bit, you might get a better angle. Or it looks like I got him. Okay, I guess I got two of them in one shot. I didn't think I could do that, but... Ah, crap. Oh, they see me all the way back there. Oh, man. Can I get you before you get me, please? Nope. Apparently not. As long as you don't do what you did before, that was totally bullshit. And that wasn't even... Well, it probably was you, not a ship. I did get two in one shot. Awesome! Alright. Okay, come on. Really? Cool. Alright. I think these are the last two. So I will say this to you cannons. Screw you and the pirates that pirate ship that you rode in on. There's one. Did I get two? No, I'm not that lucky. I got it that time. Alright, 16 minutes. It looks to me... Yeah, I think I am. Just because... I don't know. Well, I won't say why. But when you see the next episode, you'll understand. Do I really have to? Nope, I don't. Because I'm lazy. I don't want to change the wind direction. Because actually, I think it's better that I don't. But... Pff, I swear, and... Man, I'm going to tell you that on Saturday, it's a damn good thing that I, um... Or Friday. I posted on Saturday. It's a damn good thing that I recorded when I did on Friday night. Because right after that, I mean, we had a storm like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I was still awake. And I'm waiting to go to sleep. Because I had to get up in the morning and go to work. Well, I wasn't asleep. And I just hear this roll, low rumble of thunder. And I'm like, oh, geez. We're going to have a storm. Okay. I checked my phone for the weather. And... I look, and there's a big storm headed the w this way. And I was like, shit. Not five minutes after I heard that roll, low rumble of thunder. A roll of thunder. The wind just started to pick up. And yeah, I thought, okay, here, here it comes. But, it, you know, usually the wind will stop. Or it'll ebb. Or, you know, die down. This time it did not. Like, it just kept going for what seemed like an hour. And we had thunder here and there, but it was really just like a light show of wind. Like, just a light show and wind, and it was scary. I almost thought we were going to have a tornado, which I have a big phobia against. I've never seen one, but... And I have no plans to, but... Mm -mm. Scared the crap out of me. Because, I don't know, like, I don't know about lightning or anything like that. Like, I mean, I do know. I don't know about, I know about the certain types of lightning. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what's more rare? Because I'm seeing, you know, you see a lot of vertical lightning and you see a lot of lightning where just the clouds light up. And this time I was seeing, like, four horizontal lightning and all that. And I was like, um, does that mean that something bad's going to happen? But... One thing I didn't know about lightning that I figured out, or found out, was that it can actually, lightning can strike during volcanic eruptions. I had no idea, and I was like, holy shit, that is so weird. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be a weather, weather person, but the only reason I wanted to do that back then was because I thought that I was going to make all of that stuff on the radar actually happen. I didn't, or not happen, but you know, do something like what was showing on the radar, and I had no idea that the computers were the ones controlling the radar. Anyway, if you look over there at the um, lookout tower, there's really nothing valuable there. I think it's just like a golden feather or some other treasure like that. But we don't need it, and I'm looking at the time, so I think we're just going to stop the episode here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out!